Ah, the topic for this video is how to play with the woman's shadows. This is a quite intense topic, very, very sensitive topic to dive into. I will try to do my best to keep everybody happy and inspired. So when I say play with a woman's shadows, you see it's a little bit like a dance, right? Uh, you know, master woman's shadows, master your response to a woman's shadows, uh, love a woman's shadows, embrace a woman's shadows. See what happens to us as men when we are exposed to a woman's shadows. Um, let's take the example, for instance, of anger, right? You are a man and a woman gets angry with you very often the, your response as a guy will be like, there is something wrong with you, I need to fix you, you need to change, it's not okay, it's not allowed, it's abusive, you should not do that. Okay, it's kind of trying to control what's coming from her. That's one possible response. Another response is, just run away. I have a friend of mine the other day, he was telling me, he goes like, when she starts screaming, I cannot stand it. It just breaks me, it just like, so his, his best response is just escape. Another possible response is just to stay present and breathe, okay? <laughs> and in my experience, something magical happens when you stay present, non-reactive, breathe, take it in, you know, it is that your energy body starts adapting to that energy. Something really magical happens because you will feel it in your, you know, in your uh, chakras, in your solar plexus, in your, in your third eye, in your head, all over your system. It's an energetic impact that you receive that in the beginning, when you judge it or when you resist it, it's like um, something that you want to, to keep away from your system. But when you allow it, what happens is that it just becomes energy playing through your system and you develop an ability to actually receive it Take it in and, and use that as a, as a resource. Literally, it's just energy hitting you uh, sometimes really hard, but it's just energy. And um, in my experience, what tends to happen is that after a while, this energy starts actually building up in your system and uh, it often gets transcended into, into light or into bliss. Like the other day I was laying on, on, on my back, you know, on my bed, and there was, you know, lots of tension in my field from the different experiences that I was being exposed to. And then in the core of my solar plexus, suddenly there is this light frequency or light vibration that's, kick, that's kicking in. The same in, in my throat. So there is this explosions of energy that suddenly start coming, coming out. The way I put it is that there is an access to bliss or an access to light in every shadow. It's a little bit like the yin and yang symbol, you know, in the black area, you have a white dot. And that white dot is really the place where you go back to life. It's exactly the same. When you are, for instance, very sad, right? And you are really depressed and low, eventually when you surrender to that energy, then you realize that grace starts coming in. So this is a little bit of an analogy. So for men out there, here is what I invite you to do. Instead of trying to fix the women in your life, you know, tell them they are wrong, they should not be in their shadows, just embrace it. Because the moment you do what you're doing is like you are loving the complete totality of this woman. You're not just saying, well, I love you when you are in that mood, but when you are in that mood, I cannot stand it. That's not good enough, right? If you can actually embrace the totality of the women in your life, especially your, your lover or partner or wife, then uh, you will see that the game completely changes because it's like in the middle of this, um, of these shadows, accessing this bliss is what it's what I call a shadow gasm. It's literally the shadow itself, instead of labeling it as something wrong that should not be there, you go like, show me, <laughs> you know, embrace it, receive it. It's shadow gasms, fight gasms. You can have the same kind of, uh, you know, orgasmic experience, literally in the middle of a very intense verbal battle with, with your partner or with your lover. So I hope this opens to you the you know, uh, an area or um, a whole new set of perspectives where you go like, oh my God, you know, what I can tell you is that it freaking works. It does work. In the beginning, you know, like a few years back, I, you know, I would not have believed that stuff, but I realized that my body and my mind develop a certain degree of what I would call energetic or emotional flexibility or elasticity. It means that I start, you know, finding ways of embodying that energy that actually 
<laughs> you know, expands me. And so in this whole process of expansion, it's a little bit like, you know, Aikido. You start playing with energies coming your way and instead of resisting them or blocking them or being like, Ugh, you know, you just allow. And then suddenly it becomes very fluid and very even pleasant to play with. And, um, you know, this is a vast range. I mean, I talked about anger or frustration that might be projected on you, but there is way more, you know, you have hundreds of situations that you can face as men that are going to be potential triggers for shadow impact on your system. And uh, one of the core mistakes that you can make is, um, you know, low frequency responses, which would be victimization, uh, feeling sorry for yourself, um, and, um, you know, begging for, for this stuff to stop. No, all those are low frequency. What you want to do is really embrace, receive, and just play with these energies and be a little bit like an energetic or emotional ninja through that, throughout this, this whole experience. Um, my experience is that through this um, embracing our female shadows, uh, you create way, way deeper connections. The moment you start having sex and the shadows are embraced, then suddenly it's like, wow, there is all this reserve of emotional potential that is being uh, brought into the equation. And, uh, <coughs> you know, you heard me talk a lot about wild women and liberating wild women. Well, guess what? It's like the moment you take a stand and position yourself as a man to be a defender of these values of the freedom and the expansion, then guess what? In, in the wild side of women, in the non-contained side, there's going to be lots of shadows coming out. There's going to be things that maybe make you uncomfortable. And it's impossible for you to just be in that place without embracing that fully. You know, within the tantric field, within the tantra field, I feel that this is one of the core aspects of our development, is being able to dive into somebody else's shadows or our own shadows and be able to master them, play with them, you know, master our response to, uh, to the exposure to these shadows. That's it. Embrace these shadows. Love your women in your life. They are powerful beings. And uh, girls out there, women, we fucking adore you. Men are just waiting to be, to be put into this position and have the emotional and energetic tools to actually love you even deeper. This is my message to you. I hope you enjoy. I love you. I'll see you soon.